Hello students, welcome to my class. In today's session, let me go through the formal letters. Yes, you guys know about formal letters, how to write formal letters, informal and formal letters already you have studied in your previous classes. Now, let me go through the formal letters format. So actually, what is uh, formal letter? So what is that writing a letter to any higher officials, yes, or to a government official or to a newspaper editor, college principal, etc. So, what is that? Writing a letter to any higher officials. It's clear. Then what is informal letter? So, writing letters to your beloved ones. Yes, that is going to be informal. Now, coming to the formal letters. These, these deal with affairs of official and public nature so what is the meaning of that look at here a letter to a government official or a newspaper editor a college principal And so on. Yes. Now coming to the nowadays the blog format is preferred. Yes, to for writing formal letters. The blog format is the preferred modern style for writing formal letters. style for writing formal letters so next what is the next word all entries are aligned to the left margin what is that? Should write in the left side to the left margin. All entries, all entries are aligned, aligned to the left margin. It's clear. Now, the various parts of a formal letters are as follows. So, next point. The various parts of 
ए फॉर्मल लेटर्स और एस फॉलोस व्हाट इज़ द फर्स्ट वन सेंडर्स एड्रेस नेक्स्ट डेट इनसाइड एड्रेस नेक्स्ट सैल्यूटेशन व्हाट इज़ द नेक्स्ट सब्जेक्ट आफ्टर दैट बॉडी कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री पोस सिग्नेचर इट्स क्लियर आफ्टर दैट एनक्लोजर्स नेक्स्ट कॉपीज सो दीज आर द पार्ट्स ऑफ फॉर्मल लेटर्स इट्स क्लियर सो वॉट आर दे Look at here. First, it starts with reference number. If necessary. Yes. Next. This is the next one. Sender's address. Sender's address. Next. Date. Inside address. After that, salutation. Next, subject. Next, body. body of the letter then complementary clause compli clause next signature after that enclosed next copies enclosed next copies so is it clear so Look at here. The various parts of a formal address are as follows. First, reference number if necessary. It's not compulsory. If necessary, then reference should be mentioned. So, actually, what are the important parts in the formal letters? Sender's address, date, inside address. Next, look at here. Salutation, subject, body, complementary clause. signature so till here important next enclosed and copies if necessary it's clear now let me write the format formal letter pattern
formal letter pattern. Left side. Reference number if necessary. It's clear. Next. Senders. Address. So. Dash, dash, dash. That's it. Next. Date. Next, inside address. Now, coming to salutation. So, what is that? Dear sir or dear madam. The most common forms of salutation in an official letter are dear sir or dear madam. So, it should be very expected form. Next subject. Next body of the letter. It is going to be very lengthy. Okay, after this. Complimentary clothes. So what is that? You are sincerely. So nowadays you are respectfully, you are obediently. So they nowadays they are considered as old fashion. So what is the new fashion? Right now nowadays they are using you are sincerely. Next. Signature. That should be our full name. Signature with full name, designation, name, 
नेक्स्ट एनक्लोजर्स सो वॉट एवर यूर सर्टिफिकेट्स और रिपोर्ट्स और दिस रिपोर्ट्स बेस्ड ऑन सब्जेक्ट बेस्ड ऑन द रिपोर्ट यू शुड मैंशन एनक्लोजर इफ नेसेसरी देन ओनली शुड सबमिट योर सर्टिफिकेट्स और एनी ऑडिट रिपोर्ट्स और एनी रिपोर्ट्स इफ नेसेसरी क्लियर एनक्लोजर्स or enclosed next copies so in short that Let me go through this. So should write first if necessary. If it's there, then only go through this. What is that reference number? Next to sender's address. So if you are writing, so you should uh, whatever sender's address you should write. What is that your address? Next date to date date. Next inside address, so receiver address. Salutation, dear sir or dear ma'am. Next subject, so what's the purpose of writing a letter? Next. Complimentary clause, so what is that? You are sincerely. Signature should be with uh, whatever you should write your phone name and designation. Next enclosures based on the letter, formal letter pattern. I, I sorry, I mean to say based on the subject of the letter. If enclosures are necessary, yes, then only should be submitted whatever your certificates or any reports, Xerox of your certificates. It's clear. Should be mentioned in the enclosures. Next to copies. So what is that? If copies of the letter are going to other persons. Their names are mentioned below the list of enclosures. It's clear below the list of enclosures, so that copies numbers, so their name should be mentioned here. So this is the block format. A formal letter. 